Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fable 3. Last time we, uh, well, did quite a few things, sort of ended up on something small, but uh, made our way, we were in Bowerstone Industrial and Bowerstone Market, and we ran some side quests. There are a couple of side quests left that are new ones now. Um, I don't know if we did the Markets and Industrial two videos ago or last video, kind of blurs together and I haven't gone back to look at them yet so anyway whichever one I did last time you were there you know right uh, anyway so haven't really done anything since then let's see bright wall I think let's see pen is mightier that one's set where it is and of course the gnomes all right that wasn't the one I needed we have not gone to silver pines yet so we can't do anything here Oh, I didn't see the money it was trying to show me. Mercenary camp doesn't have anything. Dweller camp's clear. Mistpeak Valley is a, is a demon door. Brightwall is those two that we know about. Demon door. Millfields has the ones we're looking at for. That's where we're going now. And let's just go ahead and set him as the target. And we'll start there and see how we go. So one thing that I did not uh, realize, and that voices were sort of in the back of my head, obviously, but I didn't realize just how star-studded the cast for this game is at times. Um, you may have noticed Jasper's voice is John Cleese. Hello, sorry, I'm being attacked. Uh, good thing I have the human killing rifle on. Hey, who is the bad guy up there? Is it you? You're dead now. Uh, anyway, yeah, so John Cleese is Jasper, who you probably heard me cursing at quite a bit. Every time I go in there and he tells me, hey, we've got new items in the, in the shop for you. And I'm getting a little bit tired of him telling me that every time. So, yeah, I tend to curse at poor old Jasper quite a bit. Hold on, Turtle. I'm making sure that. Now then, that's enough of that. Okay. Like that. All right, where would dog go? Okay. Uh, also, and I've, I've, since I'm finding this out now, I will have gone back and edited the, the names in as commentary. Uh, Reaver in both Fable Two and Fable Three is Stephen Fry. For any of you who are familiar with his work, uh, Logan never would have placed this one. Michael Fassbender. Never would have placed that one. Uh, and, there's a, and there's a few more. Uh, ben Finn, who we met in the uh, fortress of uh, the Fort of Hollow Men. Simon Pegg. Seriously, guys, come on. It just, and uh, that one, and uh, Sabine, the head of the uh, uh, the people up in the, up in the Snowy Peak Mountains with the long beard. Ben Kingsley. Sir, Ben Kingsley. Yeah. Seriously, the the cast is quite impressive. Let's see. Um, well, now that I'm here, can I buy houses? How much money do I have? Not that much. Okay. Yeah, I did buy uh, some houses. I think after I turned off the camera, yet yeah, last night. That's about it. What did you eat? Oh, I hear you. Where are you, obnoxious gnomey thing? Let's see here. I really would like a different sword than my hero sword. It's nice and all, but I'd like to start working on nice upgrades shoes. for another weapon. But don't you think your grand speed are cold without them? I hear you. You're probably up here somewhere. You're getting louder. You open these rocks. No. Hmm. Really wish Torgo could find gnomes. All right. 
please allow me to introduce myself. Hello, Griffith. My name is Griffith Smith. I met someone with identical fashion sense as you in a dream, or in a magical book world, if you will, a couple of videos ago. Alas, the bridge has fallen into disrepair, and this historical site of interest will soon be forgotten. Yeah, so this and is the bridge, if you remember, that you first cross alive. in Fable 2 when you are done with your childhood and you're literally first stepping out into the world and leaving the trader camp. That's the bridge that's right there. And this, is, so Do right over that hill like? is bit, yes. where the gypsy trader camp, whoever, uh, was located. And so, as made, when I turn around, that means Another that gazebo out really there is on what used to be the entrance society. to the guild cave. Come back later on once the bridge has been built. So, Millfields here, this is Bower Lake, the Bower Lake region from Fable 2. Yeah, you know, if you didn't recognize it, what with it being transformed and all civilized and such. There he is. I could use a good laugh. Gotcha. Okay. So we've done that quest. Welcome to the set. Kind of annoying to if you really if you want to set your trap your trail, you have to come back here to the map. The door. He wants you to dress up really, really bizarrely. Ah yes, the final insult with Arthur. That's the other one here. Thank you. Where are we going? Come on, GPS. There we go. Now we got some money coming in. All right, we're going this way. Totally did not just murder a bunch of people within eye and your shot of your child. Fancy a delivery job. Sure, Arthur. A delivery job. I've got a letter this morning. Oh, I shouldn't have cut them short. Why can't our servants do it for us? Oh well. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, Arthur's a bit of a jerk. As you will have noticed if you listened to any of his letters so far. Apparently he set out to insult basically everybody he can think of in this game. And so you will periodically find letters from Arthur scattered around someone that you go to talk to for something. And there'll be a letter there, and it will be from him, read in his voice, generally belittling their life choices and everything about them. Let's go take a peek over at the island. Look how clear that water is. There's a guild cave here. Anyone? Guild cave? Can I get to? I'm a hero. Capital H. Nope. Where have all the heroes gone? Alright, and if we head this way, somewhere I believe to the left, that big house right there, that's Reaver's Mansion. So that's where the hero of skill from Fable 2 now resides. We'll be there later. You're doing very well. Okay, so we're headed to Brightwall. Oh, hello. Morningwood has a few quests. That's Oh yeah, we gotta go we're back to visit the brothers. And the excavation dude. And there's the fort that we bought that we did buy last time. So we can do the fort uh Morningwood Fort mini game. Let's see. So, yep. This will be fun. We're headed to Brightwall anyway. Okay, so to the switch to the Hollow Man killer. The armory is at your disposal. Bone Smasher, please. And we are in daylight, so we are about to get extra 30% damage against that. But this is the absolute hollow men murderizing gun now. Oh, look how fast this thing just takes him down now. Yep. Two shots. 
I'm impressed. Hello, ghosty guy. Which one are you? Oh, that Max. You're Sam. He's always getting me into trouble. We were going to go right home after the party, but now he's gone off. I've got to find him. If Mum finds out about all this, she'll kill us. Or, you know, the equivalent. She'll live you? Resurrect you and then kill you again? Wonderful. Now, I do kind of know where he is. Um, follow me. Mum always warned us about drinking. It was quite sweet, actually, her concern. She used to say, touch that stuff and you'll end up a worthless, filthy old tramp. Like your father. We always respected her wishes in that regard, which is actually a bit uncharacteristic for us. But Max, he just started putting it away. And all the time he's reading out incantations. You just walked right through that table. Laughing like a maniac. Ghost physics just down. don't make sense. It was raining handbags at one point, and then he summoned this huge flaming demon who was amazing at croquet. And there were weird bits as well. I told him he should lay off, and he said if I didn't like the party, I could leave. And I said, why don't you leave? And he left. And he took the party with him. Here, I'll just get inside. Alright. Now this one, I believe, I'm going to pull the map up for... Because so I remember there being something here that I got confused oh, by at one point. Sorry. So uh, I would just like yeah. it ready to go just in case I need it. I don't always pull up the maps in somewhere. the middle of gameplay here. Ossuary. Vague map that is sort of Who helpful. Needs the living? They're a bunch of wet blankets. Hello. Hey! If you come to join the party, we've got a good vibe going on here, so don't... Hey, what are you doing? How does this even make sense? I know what this is about. You can't make me go back. Watch this. Whee! Oh, yeah. Just remember that I'm a ghost. Let's see here. Hello. Okay, you're up there. I think you'll find this is a barrel of laughs. <laughs> Doral, are you laughing? I'm not laughing. Ah, there it is. See, I know something over here. Alright, stay there, Torque. I'm coming back. What the? Ghosty spotlight. door? Yes, you are. Nice try. <laughs> Birds. That's nice of them. Flying a nice X pattern crossing me. Quite pretty. Well coordinated. Good, well trained. Birds. You keep up. Ruby, that should replace the ruby that I had to give away last time and to a dude that I was trying to seduce into marrying me so that I... Yeah, it was a sordid story. Anyway, lost a ruby. Uh -oh. it's up. <laughs> Look, he's just ahead of me. Oh, you guys got a long way to run to catch up to me. Never mind. We're just gonna go this way. Alright, anything in any of these doors? Anything? Nope. Somewhere I know that. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, missed something. 
because it's so obnoxious. Quick backtrack. on this railing. There it is. See? It's ridiculously easy to miss that. Oswald had a long and peaceful reign, but as he grew older, he became obsessed with his own mortality. Actually, at first he was obsessed with someone else's mortality, but then he switched to his own. He had heard the legends of the fabled elixir of immortality and the fables of the legendary secret of the ages, so he summoned many knights of the realm and commanded them to go forth and search for the key to eternal life. So desperate was he that he decreed any knight who return without the elixir will be executed. So none of them came back, and he died in due course. It was not one of Oswald's better decrees. No, not really. Okay, what do we got? Hey, look, more Holloman. And burbs. Burbs. Okay. Alright, I don't remember. I think he's going to take us down there as well in a bit. But first we go check out the party tree. Nobody at the party tree. Let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, a ghost! I didn't find it there at all. Oh, he. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's oh, more ghosties. I don't know if they count as killing men, so I'm not going to bother going back and switching to the rifle. Ectoplasm everywhere. Oh, he disappeared. He ghosted us. <laughs> what are you barking at, Tor? You're barking in the corner, dude. Come back here. Mm, does not appear to be. All right, problems. Oh, problems all there. All right, somewhere. There's a gnome in here. Keep your ears open. Nice weapon you've got there. Found him. What are you? Compensating for something? Hello. Those are nice shoes. But don't you think your grand's feet are cold without them? Evil looking little buggers, aren't they? Find Max. Alright, we can do that. Yep, see now we go down to that other area. Oh, come on, Torg. He's just floating. There. Let's leave do anything. It's a spell. And put that down, and you'll unleash an ancient evil again. Well, I've had enough of her oppression. I've had a taste of real freedom now. And ale, by the way, which was quite nice as well. I didn't want to kill you. But if it's a choice between that and going back to Mum, you forced my hand. The people Mum warned me not to hang around. These with are the ghosts of Potty's past. I told these guys that you played the last time. They really hate you now. Yeah, I'm not too worried about them, you know. I hope you're gonna pay for the mess you're causing. I 
mean, to be fair, ghosts are pretty easy to clean up after. I mean, as long as you, they're not the ectoplasm kind, for real. I mean... So you bested a few ghosts, but you'll never take me back to my mum. I don't need her. I don't need anybody. I'm doing my own thing and no one's gonna stop me. Uh, I believe now we get to go experience the grand music of a giant pipe organ. Is that this place? Oh, in a minute. Wait. Right. I'm gonna say, how is it not gonna lock me in here right You've now? fallen into another one of my traps! When I first came in here and found this, I thought, bloody hell, it'd be great fun to lead someone in here. Well, thank you for obliging me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Get the point? You certainly are sharp. I hope you enjoy the big, piercing, spiky things crushing your head right in the middle of that. You wanna, you wanna go, uh, save me? Yeah, tell that to my dad. Also, tell that to my dad. But I, mean, killing me like this. I mean, he's dead too. You may know him. He could be down here Just look at this as well. You're trapped in a room. Spikes start coming down out of the ceiling, and actually, they're moving quite fast, aren't they? They're much mm -hmm. higher when I came in. Do you mind? I mean, you might only be seconds away from death. At, oh, uh, right. Sorry. Uh, Stop them. Go on then. Right, let's go find Max and put a stop to this. Thank you. Ah, uh, the spotlights. I believe if you get hit by the spotlight, it summons all men. So, you can dodge and work your way around to the chests. Hold on, I'm opening a chest. Or you can just do this and not worry about the spotlights. I've been spotted twice. I'm opening the chest. That was a cheap shot. Now see, the door's just now open, so you might have to get spotted a couple times. Or no, they shut the doors when you get spotted. My bad. I don't know, I never really worry all that much about getting spotted. So... Because either I've got a fully charged up Bone Smasher and it doesn't matter, or I'm working to charge up my Bone Smasher and I want to kill more Hollow Men. Either way, good for me. There we go, giant pipe organ. Of death. Guess whose brilliant idea that was? Mums! She's gonna be sorry I ever learned to play, and you'll be sorry too!
We gotta play the bones to get out of here. Goonie style. Who's that? Come on. You're gonna make me. Okay, there we go. The wisps protect the book. Kill them, and you can get it. Oh, will you shut up? What do you want to do? Go back to Mum? We've wasted our lives always doing what she said. Do you want to do the same thing with our deaths? I guess I never thought about it that way. Go on then. Have a drink. Well, uh, maybe just a tea. Well, Drinking does not make you taller, kids. Deal. I feel like Mum would never have let me do that. What, what are you going to do? Kill me? I can do whatever I she like. She can haunt you. Watch this. Do you really want your mom hanging around you in the afterlife forever? Mm -hmm. Here, come. I'm gonna stand over here so maybe the spotlight will get me. So, but you have to get spotted by the spotlight in order for the wisps, the make hollow men, to come out and get you. But really, this place is super easy if you have high charged magic like this. Even if you don't have the Bone Smasher. Alright, let's go over and say hi to this spotlight as well. Speed things up a I guess that's how oh, we're holding on to the left. Okay, I don't know how many more we have to kill here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can take a hit or two. Can I go get it now or do I have to? Yep. Ta da! I mean, you can sit there forever, yeah, I think. I'd, I'm not sure at what point it finally decides, okay, that's enough. But that's the quick and easy way to do it. Just go grab the book. Guess who this is? Mom! Guess who's about to shrink? I knew I would find you two getting up to no good. What are you doing here? Never mind. You've been reading from that book again, haven't you? And do I smell a ghost ale, yes. no less? Oh, Max, he had rather a lot, actually. You snitch! This is why I never want you around. You get down off there this instant and march straight back to your grave, and you're not getting any supper. Oh, Mom! <laughs> We're sorry, Mom. I told you we'd get in trouble. No, you didn't. Thank you for finding my sons and for getting that book away from them. I don't know how they could have got their cold, dead hands on it. But then I don't really want to know. I had nothing. Uh, to I don't. I don't know who gave it to him. This advice: Don't have your children buried near you. Especially if Actually, I do, it was this bloke named Logan. You might have heard of him. He's the king. You should go haunt him. Alright, well, this place is basically done for. This one looks promising. Or not. Torgal? What you got? Found one? Oh, sure, the one that's open. Maybe it opened somewhere along the way, because... Otherwise, I would have trusted my trusty Rusty Pupper to find that for me. So, last time we killed a nice, peaceful, loving, pacifist person. And we're into the Dark Sanctum. Which, at some point, if we want to get things from, we will be required to do some more evil. I think.
Alright, not getting any cues from Torgal. Hello. Ah, greetings, my Miss Green. Yeah, he just wants money. Look, before you stands the dark side. Really stand. Oh, there it is. I guess it's sort of there. For all that is cruel and horrid and evil and tasty and, well, bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, Leslie anyway, tries so exciting. hard to be evil, he just... Who knows what sinister knowledge and monstrous... The evil... People of knows what dark temples and stuff is. sort of uh, gone a bit downhill uh, over Fable. Fable uh, 1 was, eh? You have a sacrifice. You will murder them right in front of but you. And you got evil points for murdering things. It was fantastic. Fable 2, there was the Temple of Scorn that you could go down to, but after you sort of solved some... If you did things to help the good guys... They were sort of putting their temple back together and just, you know, they're not in really good shape. Or, and they just, they weren't, they weren't where they were in Fable 1. And now we have this dude who's like, yes, yes, I, I'm evil, trust me, I'm very evil. Can I buy some, can I borrow some money, please? Yeah, so, a little bit lame, but... Eventually he turns a bit evil, so I guess he gets his goal in life. Alright. Now, I believe, since I'm oh, not done talking technically. Finally, what powers, what secrets shall be mine? Uh, Excuse I you. Thank you. Okay, now. The sanctuary shop has some new bits and bobs. I no, believe. Why not? no, Jasper, it doesn't. It has the same bits and bobs it's had since the first time you friggin' told that to me, and I went in and looked at all of them, and they haven't changed. Well, since we found five books, we should now, when we turn one in, there should be an additional quest here to go find one of those special books that I mentioned in the previous video. But first, we're going to go pop down here. And now, hey, we're in Brightwall, so we can deliver the letter for Arthur. See? All according to plan, I totally did it like this on purpose. Let's see, where's Zachary? Is that the one we're on right now? I guess we'll follow the gold trail and find out if this is Zachary. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Are you Zachary? Thank goodness. No, you're Saul. Things have got desperately out of hand. Where's Zachary? Is he? Oh, is he out in town? Maybe. Yeah, he's probably out in town. All right, we'll talk to you. Thank goodness you've returned. Things. I need to stop doing that. Thank I keep forgetting you. to actually Thank stop you. talking once you accept the quest you can like do that. It. Anyway, yeah, we gotta go back down here. Clear out the evil creatures. Yeah, I see him, Dork. Surprise! Ah, yes, here we go. Couldn't get through this door before. Now we can. We have the key. Hello. Hey, dead guys. Hey, see? Did it again. I believe one of the rare books is down here somewhere, uh, but I don't think you can get it unless until you're on the quest to find it specifically. Hello. Goodbye. Is that all of them then? 
Hello, Saul. You did it! There aren't many people who could have dealt with those things. I cannot thank you enough. Now I can continue my research. Five whole guild seals. I think I got more than that from killing the hollow men. Alright, let's see. We got a quick stop out in town somewhere. Uh, that's not town. That's town. Oh, we gotta turn in some books. Oh, which one is that? I can't wait to have a read. You are doing such a fine job finding uh -huh. books that perhaps you will agree to a special request? Perhaps I, I will, Samuel. I discovered the location of an inordinately rare volume I would dearly like to get my hands on. It's called The Book of Mysteries. It was written by the hermit Ignatius Boatload. I bet he had a boatload of secrets. Unfortunately, he was martyred by ignorant mercenaries in his lonely cave many years ago. Will you retrieve his book for us? Sure. Excellent. His cave was in Miss Peak. The book is probably still there. Those mercenaries would have had no use for it. Except perhaps to wipe some of the old hermit's blood off their swords. Okay. Simple enough. So if you were to collect, say, 10, 15 books before coming back here at all, I believe you would come back here and you turn in books and after you put five of them on the pedestals like I just did, he immediately starts asking you to do that other quest. But he will not, if you put ten of them on the pedestals, he won't then give you the next one as well until you finish the first one, I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's the way that one works. Uh, let's see here. Anybody know where Zachary is? Shouldn't my gold trail be picking up Zachary somewhere? I sell the best items oh, in yeah. all bright wall. I don't think Zachary's a kid, so nor Sarah is Zachary Sarah the housewife. If you can find oh. better prices anywhere, oh, you're Zachary. Be Here you go. Wow, a letter for me. I wonder what it says. <clears throat> Dear Zachary, you are an Ugly, incompetent buffoon, and nobody likes you. You're sincerely Arthur. Oh, how rude! Kind of was. All right. It's blacksmith shop. All right. Morningwood. Is there another one here already? Oh, good lord. Where did you put me? Oh, at the entrance to the Dark Sanctum. Okay, that's fine. Hey there, do you know Leslie? I'm the one that gave him the money to put this place together. Hello, Leslie. Quite a bit around here, haven't you? Dark Until now, turns out that the temple was full of hideous monsters. Yeah, who'd have thought? Expected a place of such delicious evil, after all. All right, you get the gist of it. He's not that interesting to listen to. Come on, Torg. Hey, I wonder what we're going to fight.
Nice try. Ooh, that one got me. We done? Now, as a matter of course, I do have to wonder whether the people doing the work here are also dark sanctum devotees or just people who are hired. Hey, we're going to go dig out a dark evil temple. If it's the latter, do you think that's going to end well for you? If it's the former, you know, hey, this is apparently your cup of tea. Hello. Thank you. Oh. Brilliant. Well, now we can do it. Wait. Yes, you may do your evil laugh. The, good lord. Now I can go. Alright. Any more quests that need doing? Jasper, shut up. Nothing in the market. Nothing in industrial. Alright, we're going to pop into the market, check the weapons shop. That's clothing. We might want to pop in and check that as well. Uh, gift general goods. I have not bought these houses. I haven't bought houses in Bowerstone Industrial yet. Focusing on the shops. Do I own the weapon shop yet? I do not. Can I buy it? Yes, I can. I have a gem in my pocket. Coming back and looking at this place. Kind of interesting the way they upgraded it, because this is obviously the set the uh, central square from Fable Two. Um, apparently, they ripped down the inn that used to be right here where that tree was, and planted a tree that uh, is huge now. Good on you guys for whatever sort of magic you did there. Uh, this one down here at the end used to be the potion shop. What are you now? Are you still potions? Yep, that's the potion, dude. I buy stuff, so come here and uh, I'll buy your stuff. Okay. Hi, you person. Hey, keep on like you. Hey, they sort of restructured the town a bit. You couldn't get back here directly before. You had to go around. All right, clothing shop. What do we got here? Women's masquerade suit. Elegant princess suit. Uh, elegant prince suit. Lamb. Women's warrior suit. I guess it's better than the uh, women's warrior suits from uh, Final Fantasy IV. What was that town? With the frogs around it. The women's combat outfit was actually a leotard. Men's warrior suit. That looks slightly cooler than the women's, to be honest. Feel like we're sort of getting the short sword into the stick here, y'all. So you're new to these parts, eh? I hope you enjoy your stay. All right. Well, you never know when I want to masquerade out, but oh, you bought a fine item. I chose not to buy this before, or to wear this out of the Our castle. Is famous. Our so owner I'll buy is these later. Famous. I'm focusing mainly on female outfits, I suppose. Holy, 13,000, no way. We'll get that later when I have a bunch of money on hand and nothing better to spend it on. Mirian's Mutilator. Ah, you what do you do? Kill five people who love you. Oh, this will be fun to do. Beloved, make ten villagers love you. And get married five times. I mean, you can sort of combine all that stuff together. Extra damage, lose weight, and extra damage. So this could be a quite deadly little pistol if you had no compunctions whatsoever about making people fall in love with you, marrying them, and then murdering them. Aurora's Shield. Kill 30 enemies found near Aurora. Aurora, by the way, I believe is the place that's on the other side of the ocean. I could be wrong. It's been a while. Drag 10 criminals to jail, okay, and make 5 villagers love you. So you could wear, hold this hammer, carry that gun, and make people love you. Two birds, booth, but one stone. Or five stones, technically. 
I'm trying to find better swords. What do you got? The Casanova. Oh, Lord. Become friends with 30 villagers. Guild seals faster is good. Kill 200 ugly enemies. Hobbs? No idea. Make five villagers love you. Plus five, 25% attractiveness and immunity to scarring. Okay, this is a sort of pointless sword. Faster guild seals and a little extra damage, but really? Buy it. Maybe I can uh, work on it on the side. Uh, Hero's Companion. Have two children with a family. Give 20 gifts to... Well, I'm not going to do that one. 30 quests. Damage in multiplayer. Yeah, okay, well that one's a pointless gun for me to have. Not a whole lot of multiplayer going on in Fable 3 these days, guys. Hello. Oh. I don't want to dance with them. Seriously, they need to give me the chance of doing things other than just the one option. Like, if I want to give him a high five, I'll give him a high five. If I want to tickle him, I'll tickle him. If I want to dance, I'll dance. Let me choose. Don't just give me two things to choose from. Is this blacksmithing? I have not done blacksmithing yet. Let's see what it is. Use those two, just strike all the blocks and build up your gold multiplier. Okay. Right here. A nice sharp one. Okay. Oh, looking rather uh, scary there. You could teach so this is basically loot nice playing play. without the the strumming. Just the thwacking. You're doing a good job. That'll fetch How much money price. am I getting? It's not doing a very good job of on-screen indicators here. Six thirty-nine. That's one complete play. That's a hundred, two hundred. Okay, not bad on money. That's a good one. I mean, obviously we're up in the higher multipliers now, so we'll probably check that first. It goes a little faster than some of the strumming does. That's nice. Good blade. My makeup is making me look slightly cadaverous. Hit the blade, not the anvil. All right, that's nice. I have a gem in my pocket. Would you like to see? It? I'm sorry, you have a what? A gem in your pocket? I suppose that's better than you saying you're happy to see me, because I might have to stab you on principle at that point. Let's see, Fable 2. That led out to Bower Lake, now it leaves the Millfields. This was where the carriage place was. Apparently now it's the furniture store. Which I can now afford. Okay. Let's get to work. Now of course owning the clothing store I could go adjust the prices ridiculously low, buy the stuff that I wanted from them and then jack the prices right back up where they should be. I might just do that when I decide to buy some stuff there. It wasn't really worth it for a couple of thousand for the one outfit that I bought there. I'm guessing there's going to be a gnome up here or something. There used to be a gargoyle up here. Nice weapon you've got there. What are you? Compensating for something? Simple enough. Ah, chest. Seeing you brings back memories. I'm watching my eyes gouged out. The gnomes are horrendous, but they are kind of funny. People love a virtuous hero. You know why? Because people are idiots! I hate them. I think he's down, yeah, he's down below because somewhere. my favorite season. I love the snow. And that's when most people die. My favorite things are music and We're sunshine and... Uh, there he is. Hello. So you know our goods are good. Goodbye. 
Okay, I'll meet you back at the Resistance Headquarters. Uh, actually, I think I will meet you right back outside of it, and that'll pretty much be the end of the video, though. And we'll start next time, Resistance, main quest. I promise. Okay, it's not next video yet, so I'm not wrong or misleading you by going and doing another quest really fast. Because guess what? Leslie needs more help. And this one requires some darkness. Therefore, we're going to switch is at your disposal. to a different weapon. Is a different weapon. Uh, not yet, though. I did, uh, briefly, because I, I wanted to try that demon door that wants advanced weapons. I did really fast. I was like that close to finishing off the Bone Smasher, so I ran around for like five minutes and shot a bunch of hollow men in the daytime to finish off that middle bit. So the Bone Smasher is fully maximized, but you can't open that demon door until you also have maxed skill with the weapon. And I think I only have level four skill, and I need level five before he'll let me in. So we're gonna use the Bone Smasher a little bit longer, and then we're going to swap over to the Guskets Musket, or whatever the heck it's called, to do the last little bit, which will require some negativity. Morality. I don't believe I will be the one doing the negative thing or the, the badness, but I'm pretty sure I won't do anything to stop it. The things I do to, to maximize weapons, you know. Alright, Leslie. What do you need now? Glad you cleaned up around this place a little bit. Yeah, they don't have their handle to open the pit of death. Lots been going on since you cleared out those wretched creatures. Most of the rubble's gone. Yeah, that's I'm trying to get a look at Leslie's face there. Up and running. Anyway, we do still have a Ah, uh, yeah, the control handle for the furnace. Alright, simple enough. Done. This is... One of those uh, games, unfortunately, where they, when they're telling you about the quests, they do tend to drag on and on about it. So, once you have the gist of it, you can just skip it and move on with your life. Unless you just really want to hear the explanation. It's up to you. I usually let them go on for a little while, but at some point, it's really just kind of like, alright, shut up, I know what I need to do now. Up we go. Remember that door we couldn't get in last time? A few minutes ago? All that time ago? It's unblocked now. And in we go. Oh, goody, more of these things. Uh, Torgal didn't tell me about anything over here, so I'm assuming we're good. Right, Torg? Uh, let's try this way. Probably faster if I just shoot him, to be honest. Excuse you. Okay, try it that way. So is this a only one correct thing, and if I choose the wrong one, it's going to spawn Hollow Man? Yes. Okay. That's not a big deal. A little bit stuck there, excuse me. Oh, we're going to change spells. Okay, fireball and it probably then pushes as well, I assume. Oh, 
Okay, that's... Okay, we seems to push him back. It was also really strong, so... Yep, there we go. Bit of a knockback. That's nice. I'm not jumping off that. Ah, oh, thank you. One of these will be wrong. Let's see if we can shove him off the edge. No, but that was pretty cool. All right, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. It's a bit more direct damage as opposed to the whirly burly, which stop that, stop that. Nope, that's the guy I was aiming at right there. Yep, the one that, that you just hit. Me. So why? Um, stop! No, don't shoot the wall. Did have to use a potion there, unfortunately. Kind of did it to myself, trying to try to mess around a little bit, not playing the fight straight. Kind of hoping that would be a. We know you're. We know we've been tricking you by having you step on the wrong things this whole way along. But the la very last one here is actually going to take you someplace if you step on it. But alas, that is not the case. Oh, I see a flip switch, which I assume will be needed. for a secret. Oh, color. Wait. That way. The way. Thank you. We good? Thank you. Uh, I think they may still have some cleaning up to do down here. Yeah, apparently so. Alright, well I guess we're going to have to come back someday. Oh, come on, my stomach's rumbling. There you go. going to have such a feast tonight. <laughs> have you seen who we're having for dinner? <laughs> anyway, can't thank you enough. You've been a real help. We owe you. Uh, the cause of evil owes you. Mm. Okay, quest done. Now... Say, you're an evil Oh, that, there's sword. a person there now. Would you like to do the honors before you go? Inaugurate our new dark um, sanctum, lad. You deserve it, after I did the one murder, because I had to. No, don't do it! You don't want me dead on your conscience! I don't think you I'm going to straight up murder as the person. If I was watching and didn't stop you, fine, but there are other ways that I can earn my dark side. So don't make me shoot you. I'm sure as hell I'm not going to eat the person. Good lord. Not a bloody hob. All right. So I thought I thought I, there was a dark side that there did, did not require me to murder someone, much less eat them. But apparently not. Okay. Now I'm headed back to the resistance, and next time we will do quest. Yes. Yes. Good. Thank you. Leave a like and subscribe. Come back for more content, especially next time when we we will be progressing the main quest. And stick around for the rest of the series. Hope you're enjoying it. Thanks a lot. Bye.